The US Secretary of State hopes the agreement secured during his China trip will markedly improve relations between the world's two largest economies. Anthony Blinken wrapped a two-day visit overnight, which included a meeting with President Xi Jinping. Joining us live is Graham Smith, Associate Professor and Senior Fellow in the ANU's Department of Pacific Affairs. Really appreciate you making the time for us. Thank you. How much progress was really made? Look, um, both sides got kind of what they wanted in that the talking actually happened. Um, in terms of fundamentals, you wouldn't say there was a huge amount. Um, the one thing that shifted probably would be an agreement to start a working group on fentanyl which on the US side had been a, a really big concern. But the other thing they didn't get was they wanted a military-to-military -military dialogue to, to kind of restart between the two countries. And the Chinese said, no. Nah, and yet. how significant is that? That's pretty significant, although I think in many ways it might be a first step to raise it. And then possibly when the, the presidents meet uh, in November, it could be back on the cards then. So in some ways, these things are often a case of no, and then, OK, we'll, we'll talk, it to, talk about it a few months down the track, and then yes. But you could say things have warmed somewhat. They're, they're less hostile relations than we've had. For you sure. mentioned the fentanyl issue. Give us a bit of the background to that and, and why that is so important and has been such a crucial issue for the yeah. two countries. Yeah, it's something that's not really, uh, I think, on our radar in Australia so much, but it's become probably the biggest public health problem the US is facing. So it's the leading cause of death for people between 18 and 45 in the US, ahead of car accidents, ahead of anything Goodness, else. Okay. Because this drug, fentanyl, is 50 times more addictive than heroin and it is cheap as chips to the point where people are starting to lace their marijuana with fentanyl to get people hooked on it. Um, so it's an immense public health problem for the US. China is not making it directly, but they're providing the precursors to Latin American countries who are then making an awful lot of money on the streets of the US. Right. And so what's the plan in terms of trying to, to stop that trade? So there's a, a working group um, that's been agreed to, and this will basically see um, the Chinese side sit down and try to work out a strategy to stop the flow of precursors. Now, they might not be able to do that because obviously the people involved in this incredibly profitable business um, don't want that to, mm. to happen. Um, and there'll be payments flowing around within the Chinese system. But the fact that they've agreed to a working group is, is progress for sure. What about Ukraine? Have they just agreed to disagree on that one? Uh, well, the Ukraine thing, the, the little ray of hope, I guess, um, is... The language was positive. It was about we'd like China to play a more constructive role, which is what the US always says, and China will say, well, you just misunderstand us. Um, but on the grain security side, this is something China is very awake to, the sheer cost of grain in the developing world because the Ukraine basically was the bread basket for Africa and the Middle East. And the lack of grain and the shooting up of prices is, is really causing problems in countries where China is now the dominant player in Africa and the Middle East. Mm -hmm. So this is something you will see uh, China working with the US on. Food security is going to be a big thing. Now, this particular meeting was on again, off again for a mm. while. It finally happened and I guess laying the groundwork for the next big meeting, which is APEC, a bit later this year. Yeah, very much so. I mean, the thing that scuppered, it was meant to happen earlier and then the balloon happened. Mm. Um, was and the balloon raised? <laughs> the balloon was raised um, by Blinken before he left. And there was an interview where, where they said, well, you know, what about these balloons? Are you going to do anything? And he simply said, we're, we're, we're going to put that behind us. So, um, so okay. yeah, no more talk about balloons. Right. OK, they're agreeing to move on from yep. that one. All right, Graeme Smith, really appreciate you making the time and coming in here to Parliament House to speak with us today. Thank you. Thank you.